Ladies and gentlemen traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. As you're tuning in, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And before we jump into it, remember our disclaimer. Remember that day trading is risky business. A lot of people out there are having a hard time. So take it slow, become experienced and competent before putting out a lot of risk. Secondly, remember that live uh, the live stream and recaps are never a reason to try and copy trade. Copy trading does not work here. And lastly, I do not invest for my subscribers. So be careful of fake accounts. With that being said, let's jump into the recap. As you guys can see from the thumbnail, we are up 200 bucks today. So we'll be going over a few of the trades we took. And we're going to also talk about how we had a day over day improvement and letting our discipline compound. Now, there are some some concerns, right? Before we really jump into it, there's two things that I want to mention here. I'm noticing that at times I am missing some hot stocks and here is the reasons, right? Two reasons. One, Momo Pro, as good as it is, the high low streams are a little noisy. These streams will pick up every stock that is hot, but it'll also pick up stocks that we don't need to see like all this garbage right here, right? And so at times the filter can be a little noisy. So, Everything that hits isn't always a hot stock. And so at times, maybe I'm not as inclined to look at the scan because not everything is good. The second part of it is that at, you know, at times I'm so dialed in on a stock that, you know, I'm trading the pattern. I'm not looking over at my scan. And so some of the, some of it is on me. And I think where this can uh, change is with the chimes and or and or voice callouts that some other scanners have now momo pro does have those voice callouts so i'm wondering if maybe i have to go into the settings and go to conditional alerts and try to set up a, a scan where every stock that should be hitting the stream hits that conditional alert and then it's called out to me via voice command and you know in this case we'd say it'll say cd cdxc over and over maybe that's what i need um, so I'll try to figure that out over the weekend, configurating the conditional alerts, but we definitely would, would need that, uh, the percentage gain filter on the stream, which I did ask for many times to no prevail. Sadly, Momo Pro, what's going on, man? I spoke with the CEO over there, but we still haven't gotten this setting. And in fact, you know, let me just, let me just double check. Cause I, I, I was told that it would, it was being worked on. But it doesn't seem like we have it. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have it. There's a gap percent and maybe, you know, maybe I can use gap percentage. Maybe, maybe I can use gap percentage here of 15. Maybe this will work. We'll see. I, well, I'll have to wait for Monday to check, but I, I can still work on the conditional alerts. Now, other than that, um, VSTE was the stock that came up. If you guys can recall at the end of the live stream, I was basically flat on the day. VSTE came along and this one really got us going. I did miss the first half of the move, sadly. Uh, my first trades came in around 12 p.m around four dollars and 25 cents so i was fairly late to this thing considering that it started off from lows of you know let's scroll up here a little bit you know 267 so i missed from 267 all the way till i mean this alone even if we're pulling it up on the second candle you know i think right here is the sweet spot this if I, if I can see this stock right here my gain the my gains stand a chance of quadrupling because i can capitalize early get into a rhythm and already increase share size rather than coming here and thinking man we're up so much we're extended this thing might need to pull back i have to ap approach with caution because the train has already been moving and i'm now trying to jump on board so as a result i'm trading the move up here with smaller size just 1800 shares and then a thousand shares after we really got going so in terms of the patterns 
you know, it was all uptrend and so high of day breakouts and baby pullbacks were the key. So from a high right here of 26, let's see, we pulled back to 14 and we got a high of 60, right? Or was that a low 416 and then a high of 60. So from a 26, small dip and then rip. And then from 60, we had a low 48, small dip and then rip. And we got halted up right here. Now I did not record my screen um, because it was just, you know, out of the blue, I pulled it up and it was just going. Uh, but those were the trades that we're taking, right? And so if I'm to pull up my log here and we come back to 12 p.m. So I was just set for today. So my first few trades, I believe, are a little choppy. VSTE right at 12.01. So we're watching at the $12. And you can see we're watching at the 420 area, but I really and truly didn't really get a solid trade up until 50. So we kind of fumbled the 20 area, now pulling up the stock. But break of 50 and then the hold of 50 uh, is the trade that we were really looking at here. So we're in at 45 out of 52. We're back in at 51. But it's, it's you know, I think we might have had 49. I'm out, but I'm I'm back in again. And again, as, as mentioned, my share size here, really on the smaller side. In at 56, out at 75. And it, it just keeps going. So I, I buy back for break of five. It pushes up here to 25. And then from 25, it, it just keep it just kept going. It kept going and I, I, I just kept buying. You know, I'm learning from the mistake of, of what I made last month, which was thinking these stocks were going to pull back because they're just going too strong, too much, too quick. It's just straight, you know, got to get back into a little bit more level two. I think we've been putting, while it's putting emphasis on the charting is great. We might have been putting a little too much emphasis on the charting and not taking every single entry that we see. And so... You know, this was part of the key, right? Jumping in here and getting the entries over and over and over again. And so we went from, what was this, 550 to then 570. And I mean, you can see it just, it just, you know, the stock really just opened up. We had the resumption here at five. We, we resumed. There was a hidden buyer at five. This was also a trade I wasn't taking last month, right? Hey, we're so extended. This thing needs to dip. No, it doesn't. Just the market can be rationally strong, and I just need to react to what I'm seeing. And if I happen, if I happen to take a loss because there was an entry, then so be it. I saw this on uh, that stock that went all the way to, to about, I think, 23 from maybe like $7. I forgot the, the ticker symbol. But there was a hidden buyer 10. We're, a few of us were in the chat room talking. This thing resumed. There's hidden buyer 10. I don't jump in. It just keeps going. So right here, there's a hidden buyer 5. I'm like, to hell with it, man. I'm just going to jump in. I'm in at 5. It pays off. And then that gives me confidence to take the next. Because a lot of times what happens, if I, if I don't take this trade, even if I see this entry... It's so dang hard to buy because you just know, man, that you're missing every setup. You're just out of rhythm. It got halted up again. And this is where I did size down because I'm like, man, this thing is insane. And we went from six. We resumed at 690. It dips to six and it rips to a high of 765. This candle was a little choppy. But from there, it held up the lows and then curled up to $8. Absolutely insane stuff here. And I think we did just a little bit of overtrading at the end, which is something I want to watch out for. So we sold, let's see, out of the resumption. This is where we really dropped down in size because I'm like, I'm not going to use 1,800 shares and lose a dollar a share. I'm going to at least protect what I have, which at that point might have been like 1,600 or so or maybe a little more. So we caught a decent trade here in at 65 out at 81. I'm back in for break of seven, which then goes to 730. And I think right here is where I overtraded a little bit because I, I noticed, let's see, did we pull back first? Okay, we pulled back first, but right here, I think it was here. 
actually no this area might have been okay i think it was over here let's just put up the show trades i believe it was in this area where i just was trying around yeah right here this and you know look looking at the chart I, i'll you know it, it's sometimes it's so tricky but i think what i could have done was to wait for just a little more confirmation what are the odds that the stock keeps going we had trouble and we gave back about 300 in this area here trying to get the next leg up but you know it's not a bad percentage of the profits we were using smaller size so i think that was a good thing but if we could have gotten the next leg up we could have definitely sized back up again because 750 was resistance and if this thing was going to go the breakout was going to start around 7 30 and so we were trying here multiple times to see if we would get that ne next green candle to keep going but usually when the trend of this type of stock is just up 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 when you start to get this sideways stuff usually the move is done this this is time to go short and then tight stop over eight Sh go short risk a dollar share and then your, your reward is this catastrophic drop here which people are probably swinging overnight all the way down at 420. even this bounce here you know might, might have some people might have covered here just a 50 percent bounce but you know short up there 730 risking 60 cents maybe plus some slippage most of these stocks are back down where they came from the next day or by by after hours so vste nice stock but we need to be earlier in the moves we need to be here earlier in the moves so i'm going to write down here review momo pro conditional alerts now i will have to wait for market open to be able to review everything but Momo Pro conditional alerts. So other than that, you know, I mean, there are scanners on YouTube as well that people are using. Um, you know, we have to do what's necessary to get the job done. So we'll, we'll configure, configure, configure. And then if not, you know, we'll see what we can do. Uh, but other than that, guys, remember to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep in mind for those of you who are, who are interested in getting involved in Merciless Markets, the day trading course and service that I provide. Guys, the prices are going up. The prices are going up. And so if you're interested in getting started, if you want to become a member, you have to do it within the next week and a half because the prices are going to actually more than double. You know, we've proven time and, and this is not anything new new in terms of news uh this is i we've mentioned this before many times over the, over the months that eventually the price for mmu will go up and so we're going to condense and consolidate all of the sub products into just for now three main products all right and so you know you guys uh for anybody who's a beginner trader out there you guys can check out the micro scalping book that uh, Marcelo, myself, and the rest of the team here has been working on. You know, as we continue to learn and grow, we're gonna continue to update and and uh, better our material. Okay, so you guys can definitely check that out. And uh, keep in mind, keep in mind, last announcement here on Monday we'll be here for pre market as well. Uh, is there anything else that I'm missing? I think there's something else that I might be missing. So MMU. The chat room you know in terms of the value that we provide all you guys have to do is take a look at the chat room man take a look at the, the relentless trading community and you'll understand why you know we're so valuable why the material that we teach is so valuable you know we already showed it off so many times but you know the, the monthly p l's that came in uh just a few days ago you know all the traders who just absolutely dominated the market i didn't even see this one here people dominated last month guys a lot of traders dominated we have a red pnl here work in progress uh, and this is a, a general chat room member majority of the students who are the purple names if we come back up here you guys will see dominated the market we have small size there we have big steve big steve is also a student of mmu don't get it twisted shout out to big steve we have tim 
one of the merciless markets mentor 137,000 in one month dennis mmu student 6.9k oliver mmu student 21,000 nick general chat room member up 21,000 and even the chat room members to some degree are students because they're watching all of our recaps they're 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 talking with students every day these these guys have study sessions together they watch us trade live because we always you know we're very generous people we have very specific chat rooms for students only, but every now and again, we'll come down here to the general chats and we'll chop it up. We'll talk, we'll answer questions. We'll, we'll share our screens with the broader chat room, right? Enzo, another student, 3K process over profit, smaller size, Glumford, general chat room member, 61,000. J student, smaller size, 50 bucks, process over profits, getting it done. Zay, another student, process over profits, getting it done. Uh, about 2k total gains north chat room member i think well over 10k you know and the list goes on and on and on there's more calendars marcelo mmu mentor uh here alongside myself and tim you guys saw my monthly calendar here so you know there's a lot of people in the community who just did absolutely well another student d trades momo bro smaller size lucas one of the students who absolutely crushed the month the month doing 100k guys these are these are people's salary right and so for myself the last time the market was this hot the last time the market was this hot i was able to make about seventy thousand dollars in the month this particular hot market came with a different set of challenges for me and a lot of why i wasn't able to do as well as i would like right was mindset right there was a lot of trades I let go by because I just felt like, man, this was too aggressive. But after going back and checking out some of the, the days on this month, I saw how I was approaching the markets with just a, a level of dominance and assertiveness that I just did not do here in October. So despite just having a few red days, you can see my green days were much, much smaller on average. And so instead of pulling off another 70 plus K month, we did 14 K. And so I consider this a fumble month, right? And so worst case scenario as a student, as a mentor, as a community member, we want you to at least get to this point where if you fumble the entire month, you're still making 10,000, you still pay your bills. You still put money in your savings account, all that good stuff. Right. And so we use this as fuel to the fire to dominate the next months to come and the next hot market to come. So the prices are going up because what we're doing here is highly valuable. Team house member and community members have a 135 grand. Beam, a student, process over profit, started with small size, went through a whole nine, and now it's sized up 64,000 on the month. And you guys will notice most people did well coming into week two. Notice the week one, week two, Week three, week four is where most people did well well because that's where we had that hotter market. Save, you can see week one, week two, you know, uh, Lucas, week one, week two, slower, but then week three, week four. So just just a just a 10 day span. That's what this market is, right? In just a few day span, you can really dominate if the market uh has that momentum going in. You know, coming back to February, it was pretty much the same, right? A lot of us did well in week three. And then week four coming into the rest of the month. So keep that in mind that sometimes just a hot week can even make someone's year, right? Which is why people don't really love to miss days. But, you know, we don't want to get into the side of FOMO and things like that. Jackson, another student, 19K. Spartan, another student. Spartan, our very first student, 38,000. What we're doing here is obviously working. So nobody can complain, right? Stealth, who did fumble the month a little bit as well from 30K to... 4k having three bigger red days and uh, he's working on it to improve in that aspect so menti jorge some of the other traders you know just i mean just insane stuff here right these students jorge had a rougher month jorge also fumbled the month a little bit but you guys will see he has the blue check as well which means he has made over well over 30k and has been performing consistently so, you know, it, the list just goes on and on. SF was on vacation, came back, still got a little something. We got some small size profits over profits here. You know, MNQ, well, Curse a community member, 50K on the month. So the prices are going up and rightfully so because 
we're turning people into millionaires. And of course, we understand not everybody will become profitable. You know, trading is always going to be risky. We don't guarantee success. But these people are living, breathing proof that our strategy works. Because if it didn't, nobody would have made money, including us. So with that being said, check out the curriculum. Don't wait a moment, a moment too late. Get involved with MMU, Diamond. And we're, we're working on some names on the back end. We, we have it now as the Accelerated Micro Scalping Program. All right. So check it out. We're going to continue to condense everything here. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We got some other content coming out. Stay safe, stay green. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.